Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. There is one SBC right now in this game that is making the market go crazy. I bet you can guess which one it is. EA dropped one of the biggest SBCs of the year yesterday on the team in the tournament promo. They, they dropped the flashback Ronaldo left wing with only the Portugal World Cup links, not a Manchester United card. Very interesting. We talked about that in the last couple of days. I want to take a look at the promo that was dropped yesterday and talk about this SBC, how it affected the market, but also how the rest of the market was impacted by a day of content yesterday that was interesting to say the least, right? These team of the tournament cards are not bad, but some of the World Cup phenoms actually went up in price, but this promo team to me still signal something that could mean prices dropping throughout the rest of the weekend again with a lot of people still looking towards next week as a big promo date with the winter wild cards promo so i want to take a look at the market and again what could be going on throughout the rest of this weekend and of course we didn't see some of those team of the tournament cards drop today will there be a mini release today or tomorrow I think there should be. Hopefully, we get all of the leaked cards dropped this weekend. So we're going to take a look at that in today's video and more. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this Ronaldo SBC. Now, of course, some of you guys are like, Nate, this SBC did nothing to the market. What do you mean? Well, actually, it did. It's moving things in a lot of different places. And a lot of us are turning away from this SBC because it's not good value. I would argue that it's much worse value than Messi because... It's hard to link this card. That's the issue. Unless you're using Portugal players in your team with the links that he has, he is tough to link because not many people are in that World Cup league. And a lot of the cards that are dropped in that World Cup league are, of course, those limited time red versions, right? So this SBC is coming in at 500,000 coins. It's got 4,000 downvotes on Footbin already. Now, okay, let me be honest. Is this SBC cool? Absolutely. It's so cool, right? But it's hard to link. It's really not that great of a card. I mean, you can compare this card to the Dan Juma that we had in October of this year, and the stats were almost identical. 91 pace, 86 dribble, 84 shooting, right? Very similar. This one just has five-star skills, and it's Ronaldo. I'm sure he's really good in game, and I'm not here to tell you today to not do this SBC. I don't think the value is great, but this is one of those that just hits you in the feels, and if you want to get it done, then go ahead and get it done. But as you can tell on the market, people are, are saying this is a bad card, and they don't want to do the SBC, but since it's Ronaldo, people are absolutely going and doing this because other Portuguese players on this game are flying in price as people rush to link these cards together. Look at Figo. Figo was 885k yesterday on the market. He is now 1.1 million coins. Cancelo's special cards are up. Everything that is a meta card that is Portuguese has risen up a lot. He was 370. Now he has 430,000 coins. Um, even like the Portuguese hero, uh, Ricardo Carvalho, is up to 230,000 coins. So your Portuguese cards everywhere are going up in price, which tells you that people are doing the Ronaldo SBC. And then if you take a look at SBC fodder, since this Ronaldo has a couple high rated squads inside of it, take a look at the 91 rated on the market. 57K for Benzema. Look at his price. These guys were about 52K at content. They have risen to 57K, maybe even a little above that right now uh, because people are doing this Ronaldo SBC. Even though it's expensive, people are going out and doing it because also people have 84 times 20s. They've got fodder packs. They have packs that they saved up and opened today for the team of the tournament promo. And that is what is going on with this Ronaldo SBC. But at the same time that this is happening, I think what is happening on the market too is that a lot of people... Maybe more of your, I wouldn't say that just casuals are doing the Ronaldo SBC because that is not a, a accurate or fair statement to say, but a lot of people are, are losing coins, right? Doing the Ronaldo SBC and it's going to be draining coins off of the market. And again, what we've been talking about these past couple of days is just a general kind of a market feeling of not wanting to buy a lot because we do have a winter wild cards promo with a swaps program. It's going to be fast paced and a lot of good rewards in it coming very soon, like next week. So that's something that we have to, to keep in consideration with what is going on with the market right now. 
in this game. And I think the Ronaldo SBC and even the showdowns that we had yesterday, right? I mean, we have to talk about SBCs from yesterday's content and we have to mention the showdowns, right? We had Angel Correa and Upa Meccano. Upa Meccano's card, you know, it is a nice French center back card, but the work rates aren't that amazing. High medium. His pace split is not very good. Uh, this Correa card is what people are very excited about. Another card that people are doing in SBCs right now, just because the potential for this guy getting upgraded and how great his card would be would be phenomenal. So honestly, one of the better showdowns that we have had for the World Cup games. And I'm, I'm glad that EA at least stepped it up a little bit here for the final. I think they still could have made it a little bit better, but Correa versus Upamecano, that's a nice showdown there. Those cards have some pretty good upvotes, especially Correa. A lot of people are going out and doing Correa. Now, let's talk more about the market and specifically by first talking about these team of the tournament cards. Now, EA dropped 15 cards in packs. And as if you were watching last night's video, you, you would have seen there were a total of 20. We had 18 cards leaked and then two more on Friday before content. So 20 total cards. We only have 15. So we have our Fingers crossed that EA is going to drop a big mini release this weekend because we are missing some of the likes of the Amrabat card that people were excited to try out, albeit it would be a very cheap card. We're missing Casemiro. We're missing Bruno Fernandez. We're missing a couple other cards that I think people would be Otamendi, right? Very excited to try out. But nonetheless, I think this promo team is solid. I wouldn't say it's like an, a 9 out of 10 promo team or a 10 out of 10. I don't even think it's as good as the Phenoms promo that was last week. I would rank this probably like a 7 out of 10. There are some gems in here. One of the most hyped up cards right now, I was trading with him earlier in the day, Diogo Dalo, a insane looking right back card, four star, three, three star, four star, but the high, high work rates and the stat boost that he got over his most latest inform with the Portugal links being hyped. This card looks incredible. He's going to be a great one to trade with here in the next day or so. The thing with this promo team as well is the cards got so cheap so fast. Like apart from Mbappe and Messi being very, very high in price, Messi not even really getting that big of a stat boost. Very disappointing, honestly. All they did with Messi was change his work rates, give him a dynamic image in the Argentina kit and, and change his positions, right? And that means the card is 2 million coins more than his uh, other special, which is a bit confusing. The work rates are a big change and the hype of Messi in the World Cup are a big change. But apart from those two guys that in the top tier part of this promo, this promo is re really just giving us a lot of mid to lower tier players to go out and put in our teams. And as you can tell, like so many of these guys are already uh, under 100K. Perisic looks like an insane, insane card for less than 100,000 coins. So from that side of the coin here, we look at a lot of these cards and we're like, hey, very nice usable cards, solid promo, but it wasn't like an incredible promo. Now I'm watching these card prices very carefully. I was able to flip some of them um, and I want to flip some of these today into Saturday. I think that there is going to be a low point and, um, you know, in the late Friday night hours, as we often see and talk about with promo cards, I think some of these guys have enough hype to push up to higher prices into the day today on Saturday. I'm watching a guy like a Teo Hernandez, who's a bit more rare. Phil Foden is fluctuating a lot. Harry Kane, I would watch his card. And of course, we have to take a look at this Dalo, right? I bought two Dalos in the first hour yesterday at about uh, 209, 210,000 coins, I believe. And he is slowly starting to rise. He's about 230, 225 right now. We'll see where this card goes. He was all the way up at about 250 at his peak. Um, and he came back down a bit. There's a lot of cards that are in this promo I think people want to use. So I think there could be potential to trade with these guys into today on Saturday because people ju will just want to try out some of these brand new cards as they normally often do. But for a lot of the cards like, you know, Foden, Kane, you know, Messi, even Teo Hernandez, I think that with just, again, the general sentiment of the market being not a ton of people want to buy cards and we're still worried about even the SBC coming on Monday, like an 88 plus mid or World Cup icon pack. I still don't feel like this market is in a really tremendous spot. I really feel like we're just in an okay place. And I think that prices could be dropping on some other out of packs cards today on the market. So I would be careful with maybe some of the World Cup stories cards. I have a rash right now that I'm trying to make coins on. I'm going to try to flip that really quick because I think that price could drop. You know, you can see Richarlison, Asensio, um, those are down in value from what they have been. Some of your Road to the World Cup cards, um, Ben White is down, Marquinhos is staying down, Sun is a little bit low. I think we could still see some sell-off today on this market.
because of that. Now these phenoms cards, this is this is what is interesting to notice. And this is yesterday was a learning experience on a Friday. It was one of those Fridays where the promo content, the new cards, that stuff with, that was dropped. It was cool, and the Ronaldo SBC was cool, but very overpriced, and maybe people did the Angel Correa showdown, right, or Upamakano. Yesterday's content wasn't, like, insane, though, right? Last week, we had a really insane promo team that was dropped with a lot of huge-name players. This week, the promo team just wasn't as good, especially with some of those mini-release players not dropped. I think there could have been more hype today if we had a Casemiro, if we had a Bruno Fernandes, if we had the Amrabat and all those mini-release players. Um, if EA would not have withheld some of those specific ones and maybe dropped a different SBC, then it would have been a little bit more hype. But um, just, I would say, just keep a really, really close eye on these cards. But since they were not as hype, what you really see is you see the other cards that are more hyped from the past promo shoot up in price. Like this Jude Bellingham, 624,000 coins. You can see it was a direct takeoff from content time yesterday. Um, when we did not see a, a super hype content day, your most rare and popular cards from the Phenoms team went up. Rafael Leal went up over 100,000 coins. Kamavinga went up from about 440 to almost 500K. We saw Jude Kunde is up. Militao was up. Pedri went up immediately when people saw the new Gavi card was three star, three star, or I think he's three, three. He is 3-3, and he doesn't have that great of stats. So people are like, okay, that card's going to be a lot cheaper, and Pedri is better. So Pedri went up in price right away. Saka is starting to go up a little bit more in price. Martinez, Rodrigo, Ganduzi, they're all starting to creep up there in price because these cards are just a little bit more hyped and better. And that is something that you can do on a promo Friday when we have these promos that, you know, we have the leaks and we see the cards. You just kind of have to wait until the promo is dropped, though. That's the best way to do it because EA could still drop an insane SBC. But when you see that the content that is coming into the game is not that incredibly hyped, you can then go out and on the market, buy some of those cards um, and see a rise of them. I picked up two Rodrigo's at 209 and 210 because I saw the content of this new promo today with team the tournament was just okay right and rodrigo rose up very very nicely being a card that is a mini release card he was down so much from those days earlier in the week right that we had seen those prices dropping from so i was like okay this card's going to be the one uh, one for me in my budget that should rise pretty nice so that's kind of a learning point from yesterday's content it was honestly a little bit less hype content wise than I thought it was going to be, but that did enable us to make a lot of coins, right? I bought Kamavinga at 450. That flip didn't go as good as I would have liked it to. Um, I bought Dumfries first hour at 63,000 coins. He went all the way above 90. Those are one of, one of the Dalos right there. I still have another Dalo. And then I bought a Griezmann at 115 and sold at 123. So just some like decent flips for me yesterday. I didn't get in on any of the Portugal players besides Dalo. But again, some of those Portugal rises on the market yesterday were absolutely crazy. Uh, and then trading with other stuff on the market. Uh, some of these out of packs cards just fluctuate because they're rare, right? This Goretzka uh, is up all of a sudden like 70,000 coins at 640K. He was 550, as you can see here. Um, some of the Bundesliga links, since we got Pavard and Objectives, I want to look at that card here in a second. I think some of your Bayern fans went out to the market yesterday. Uh, since we had Pavard and Upamakano, some of those Bayern cards did end up going up in value a little bit. And then other cards in general that were just low, like Marquisio was 370. I believe his price has gone up a little bit. It was actually a pretty solid day for the market because instead of a bunch of brand new cards being dropped that people were scared about and figured that they were going to lose coins on, uh, a bunch of cards dropped that people were like, okay, these are decent, but it doesn't make me want to go panic sell my team to go try out this new card, right? So like Koulibaly is one that is down. And, you know, some of these cards have stayed a little bit low. I warned you guys yesterday about cards that were going to go down and probably stay down. And gold cards for sure are in that mix. How much is Van Dyke right now? VVD is like in the low 80K range. And I think I even said this, uh, I said it on stream yesterday, uh, and we said it in yesterday's video that the gold cards were definitely going to drop. Ronaldo, 70K. Neymar is down like 15K. Van Dyke is, that's actually his price. 77,000 coins. Look at this drop off, right? You had a nice drop off there. That's just because of new center backs coming in the game that are pretty cheap. 
I mean, look at the brand new Gavardiol, 73,000 coins for him. You had a brand new Oop Meccano today and a one for one. People maybe sold Van Dyke to go try out the new Tiago Silva, right? That sort of thing is what is keeping some of these gold cards dropping down in price. Kyle Walker, 28K. He is down. Salah, 56. Um, Mendy, 12K. I think I saw there was another one that I noticed that was down a lot today too. Vinny. I think Vinny is down um, a decent amount. So if I were you guys, again, I would just be continue to be very, very careful in this market. And careful is the word that I would use just because all the panic selling that we saw earlier on in the week, it's not like today flips the switch and then everybody's excited about FIFA again and everybody's excited about you know the brand new cards. I still think there will be um, people that are a little bit leery and a little bit cautious and just have that sentiment of, okay, winter wild cards is still coming. Even though we had a promo today with some nice cards and, and fun stuff to do, winter wild cards is still coming. There's still content that's going to drop on this game that could make prices drop. So um, I, I do think there could be some more of those price drops today on the game on Saturday and even throughout the rest of the weekend. But I do think these brand new promo cards will be pretty good to trade with because that's where the hype is, right? You always try to trade with the cards that are the most hyped and the cards that people are wanting to buy. And right now, the cards that people are wanting to buy are Portuguese cards um, and some of the brand new promo cards that they want to try out. Just another, trying to like trade on the market, another tip for you guys today is watch some of the Portuguese cards that have exploded. Like this Luis Figo was 1.1 mil, um, one of the biggest risers on the day. The out of positions Cancelo card is another one that was up you know, huge, huge amounts. Those are the cards that I would want to trade with today because, again, with all the hype being around this brand new Ronaldo card and people wanting to try him out, cards like this are the ones that you're going to want to keep an eye on. If they drop off into the nighttime or even if they're low this morning on Saturday as you go and look to pick them up, trade with those guys. Flip them because they will be really, really good cards to trade with because there's demand there, right? So try to trade inside of that demand. Um, and icons should be decent as well. Somebody got a really insane bid on this Eto at the content drop, 1.5 mil. That was honestly crazy. But that's the sort of stuff I'd be looking for in the market. With your path to glory cards, some of them have rebounded back up a little bit, right? You saw the Griezmann that was on my transfer list. Uh, Griezmann was panic sold yesterday. We, we expected some panic selling and we saw it. Griezmann's back up now to about 1.3 million coins. He was all the way down at 1.14 where I bought him earlier yesterday um, and I sold him uh, and it was a nice flip. But another card like Alejandro Gomez with these PTGs, I would just be, again, very cautious with these cards as well. The game is tomorrow and we do have a game today. We've got Morocco versus Croatia today for the third place game. So your Agurd versus your Orsic um, showdown is going on, of course. And some of your Moroccan hype could, of course, uh, be in the game today too with uh, that game going on and people maybe trying out some of those Moroccan players. So watch out for that. Now let's talk more about today and the content today. We've talked about the market plenty. Um, speaking of the market, one last thing, SBC fodder. I know we talked about the Benzema that went up, right? I still think that fodder across the board in other areas is looking good. Look at 85, 7.2K. 86s are 13K below 13,000 coins. Your fodder that is up a little bit and up the most is the higher tier. If you want to do a club stock this weekend, I think there's a great potential again for that. Try to get on bids. If 88s ever go to like 26, 25K, I, I like the higher tier of fodder this week, guys. I really do because if EA are going to release that 88 plus pack, um, the 88 plus, this is not the pack code for it, but that 88 plus mid or World Cup icons, Upgrade pack, if that is going to be an SBC for Monday, I think the mid to high tier side of fodder would be a really good investment because I don't see that SBC being that cheap uh, because the Icon SBCs have been a bit more expensive than the Hero SBCs this year. So that's one thing I'd watch out for. And I think this fodder is at an okay price uh, at the moment. The Ronaldo definitely pushed the fodder up, but hey, you don't know. I'm recording this video a bit early. So maybe if the 88s are again down to like 25, 26K, or if you can get them there on bid, you know, 87s at like 17, 86s at 12K, honestly. Uh, I think 86s were all 12K yesterday before the content drop. Um, at least most of them were. The Sterling is usually a bit more expensive, but I think those are really good for a club stock this weekend too. And I mean, hey, the 85s don't look too bad either. Under 7K, you can never go wrong with 85s at that low price. So watch out for that. Now, speaking of pack code, this one kind of sent the game and us, you know, on Twitter into a little bit of confusion yesterday because EA dropped a pack in the code that is literally just a question mark. 
And you might be like, Nate, is this some sort of sick joke? What is EA doing with this? Um, as Foot Scoreboard says here, not my fault. EA actually added this pack. Pack number 1192 and 1193, and it's just a question mark. So this begs the question, is EA going to release like some sort of mystery pack on this game? Or is this a mistake? Did EA make a mistake? I really don't know. Like, I mean, what what else can you learn from this except they dropped a pack in the store? Two of them, by the way, 1193 and 1192, that are both question marks. So I'm not trying to read into this too much, and it might just be something that's kind of like stupid and it was a mistake or whatever. But some people were actually selling cards yesterday because they thought we were going to get like some random like mystery pack and like oh my goodness what could this pack be so i wouldn't read into that too much um unless we have more leaks or more information about this don't be too worried about it because that is kind of a one-off crazy situation and then the other pack code that we had yesterday this could be a part of today's content on saturday that might hurt the market mid-season two review pack watch out for that that sounds like a store pack to me people love the store packs and there hasn't been a lot going on in the store i mean there's even a few hours left here of Friday night lightning rounds and stuff. So EA could maybe add these token or these packs in the store. And you might be like, Nate, this is in the store right now. I don't know. Um, but any of these two packs could potentially be dropping in the store. I still thought that 85 plus might've been a free pack, but it looks like it might not be um, one of those. So I'm just really curious to see when these packs are going to show up in the game. Maybe they're going to end up showing up in the moment store and 83 times 10 85 plus world cup nations pack that seems like it would drop sooner because when the the moment store is going to refresh with new rewards i think when the season is over or at least pretty soon since we're nearing the end of the world cup season so not really sure about those but that mid-season review two pack that to me is something that could be in the store here pretty soon and that could contribute to the market drop with draining a lot of coins now i want to i showed i said that i wanted to show you guys this pavard card he actually does have center back alternate position it doesn't show here but um he is a center back alternate position in concepts if you look at the card so as you think about this card as a center back it doesn't look that horrendous uh this the pace is not all there but it looks like a decent card that you can grind with great links and objectives so ggs and then ea dropped us a um a world cup team of the tournament cup which you can actually, if you win the whole thing, the group reward is getting a pitch trophy of the World Cup trophy. So this might even just be kind of fun to grind because you get the World Cup trophies. That's kind of like a pay to skin type thing or grind to skin, if you will. But that's kind of dope from EA, just dropping something kind of cool and grindable in that manner on the game. So it's going to be a great day to watch these World Cup team of the tournament cards on the market. They're going to fluctuate a lot, but I do still think that this market is in a place where a lot of prices could drop off some more this weekend just with how the content has been going. And I think people are a little bit scared with what is to come. So we're going to be following that very closely, of course, as we get closer and closer to the big Monday with upgrade packs. And if we see any other leaks today, uh, we don't have any leaked player SBCs for today either. That's what I'm mentioning with, with leaks. Watch out for the leaks today. Maybe another player SBC or maybe it'll be a quiet Saturday besides a store packer and lightning rounds uh, because yesterday was such a crazy day. So that's the video from me today. If you guys did enjoy the video, smash the th thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.